Greetings, Sonu. The way you are panting, yeah, it shows you run down to this place. And the urgency in your call. What is the matter? His Majesty said you should come with me immediately. Come with you? Yes. Is there any problem in the palace? I can't say or no. I can't. Okay. Tell him I will be there soon. No. He said he should come with me right away. Immediately. Really? Yes. And you say there is no problem in the palace? I wouldn't know. Okay. Let me get ready. I'm coming. Okay, no. Okay, why will it be you that will wake the neighbors with your song every morning? Eh? Or are you the only maiden that can sing in this village? No. Who one is complaining? Besides, they all enjoy my song and wish I should be singing for them. Not when it's your song that wakes them from early morning sleep. Eh? And you are supposed to have been in the stream by now. That's what young guys of your age do first thing in the morning. Yeah. I'm not going to say that you this is not my water pot. I'm waiting for my friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're heading to Your Majesty, your call this morning came with such an urgency that could set even the heart of a leopard pounding. What troubles the heart of my king? Hmm. Issues of the mind, O Nobu. Like you rightly said, the leopard is truly trembling. You were my father's advisor and now mine. How much do you know about dreams? As much as the gods can reveal to a mortal mind like mine. But, Your Majesty, your question puts me on the edge. I had a terrible nightmare that stole sleep from my eyes since midnight. I wish the gods would be gracious enough to illuminate your heart with the meaning. Can your majesty tell me this dream? A crocodile was pursuing me in my dreams. It was chasing me all over. At the point I thought I'd escaped it, I saw it right in front of me. When I turned around to make another route, there it was again. Chasing me all over. When I got weak and was losing all of my strength, a huge python appeared and swallowed me. Your Majesty, a python? Yes, no. Swallowed you? Yes. Hmm. 
the pride of a mother. Omalicham. Lenum. How do I look? Beautiful, my daughter. Mandi kanji emono. Hmm. You are the inevitable queen of the land. Oh. Hmm. You look beautiful, my princess. Go and flaunt your beauty before you betrothed the king. And let his head jingle in admiration and longing for his bride. Ne mama. Ago wang. Nimje mono. Oh! A chalugo wang. Oh! Oh, my chan name. Dalu. You're welcome, my girl. <laughs> my sweet mother, you are my mentor and heroine. <laughs> Let me go and put a smile on the face of whom I cherish the most. Go, the daughter of the great Agui. But remember, that your domain is above and not beneath. Go, the joy of my heart. Go and take that which belongs to you. <laughs> Right. My sweet mother, I am going. Agulu da 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 da! Agulu da 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 da! Here, 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 here. Greetings, my lion. What ails the king that the splendor of the sun could not brighten his countenance? Can the royal bride share of her lord's grief? Adure, my love, the day is too tender for revelry. I have a burden in my heart that must be laid off before I can be eulogized. On earth your burden to me, my love and see if the fragrance of beauty and love will not melt it like a wax. I, Adure, should be your burden sharer, your source of inspiration. Adure, silence they say is noble, and in silence I find succor at this moment. Does my presence not matter to you anymore, my king? Greetings, my king. Welcome. She who is gifted by the gods to soothe alien souls. Sing and dance for me, so my burden can roll away. Onye na chokwi gwe moku, onye na basu gwe miwe, igwani biko bara, igwani biko bara, ndi na china yagi, Ndi na chine togi, ndi na chisogaga, ndi na chisigi gaba. Onye na basu gwe miwe, onye na chokwi gwe moku. Ezi gwe biko bara, ezi gwe bika inayogi, oboda nyisiri gigaba. Obodwa nyisiri gadiriri, ocheze gigadiru ebi ebi. Igwanyo, 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 igwanyo ni gadiriri. Igwanyo ni gachiriri, igwanyo chibanyo, igwanyo dubanyo, igwanyo anyiswaga. Iguanyo anyi jieku, Iguanyo anyi jiaba, Iguanyo, 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 Iguanyo. Ocheze gigadi rebi ebi, Iguanyo, Iguanyo. Greetings, Your Majesty. Ah, Idika. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. My king has a visitor. I think I should be leaving. You have really rejuvenated my soul. Were it not that Idika is a good friend of mine, I would have asked you to tally a little. But it's okay, you can go. The chief guard will take care of you. Thank you, Your Majesty. Idika, my friend, what brings you to my palace at this time? Because I know you are not in the habit of frequenting the palace. 
Um, frequenting the palace doesn't tell well of a hunter who dwells more in the forest to make ends meet, Your Majesty. So what chases the mouse out of its hole? Your Majesty, I hunted an uncommon animal and failed it to make a delicious delicacy. For the king, my good friend. Wow. That is actually what I brought. That's very thoughtful of you. You are a friend indeed. So what uncommon animal is this you have hunted that you want me to taste? Because I'd like to see it before the palace cook takes care of it. Um, Your Majesty, I brought iguana, the monitor lizard. What? Iguana! Take it away! Out! Your Majesty, I said I brought iguana, a monitor lizard. It's just an iguana. Take it out of the palace! Guards! Make sure he goes out of the palace with that animal! Out! You will have to explain to me what your enterprise in this palace is. What is your business here, Ogechi? As you can see, I perform for the king to make him happy. That's arrant nonsense. Now you listen to me. I don't want to see you in this palace again. Do you understand? <laughs> as long as it is on the instance of the king, I will oblige. I can't deny the request of my kingo. She's daring me. Are you daring me, Ogechi? Huh? As the betrothed of the king, I warn you never to set your foot in this palace again. I am no longer comfortable with your closeness to my lord, my lion. Now, if you dare me, if you dare me, you will pay with your life. Nonsense. My king, what is it? I heard you scream. It was the car, my friend, the hunter, who brought iguana for me. Iguana? That is the delicious meal. Delicious meat, my foot. When you came here, you noticed I had a heavy heart, right? You know the reason for that. And that is because you didn't seem to appreciate or even notice my presence. I was attacked in my dream by a crocodile. In fact, two, two, two horrible creatures. Anything that reminds me of that is an enemy. Irrespective of who or what it is. My king. on your face as you left this house. I expected you to return with more radiance and not wearing the face that looks like monkeys. How can my face be bright when that village loafer still comes around to sing and dance for my hero? But, but she's able to make your king marry. Mother! Their closeness is beginning to threaten my bond with the king. I want her out of the way. I want her out of the way! Hey! Your bond with the king is not my maid. It was incompetent and hashed somewhere beyond the reach of man. And moreover, you are the daughter of great Agui. You don't chicken out from your prey. You have your powers, my daughter. Use it. <laughs> <laughs> What would have led His Majesty to this type of reaction? Is there any possibility I offended him before now?
the embarrassment was too much. It was just too much. But this is my childhood friend. I've known him for like ages. Something is not right. Something is definitely not right. I want to tell you something because as it is, eh, I'm angry. I'm angry. Why are you angry? I don't know what that idiot Adaro is feeling like. Eh? Can you imagine threatening Oge never to be seen at the palace anymore? <gasps> Wait. I really do not understand this whole thing. Is Oge trying to say if the king calls that she will not answer because of her duvet's command? My dear. That appears to be the case now. How possible can that be? Akona, that girl is biting more than she can chew and swallow in this village, you know. Amaka, let me tell you something. If I am Oge, me Akona, if I am Oge, since the king loves what I do, I'll walk my way into his heart. Before she realizes, I'll be the queen of this land. Akona, in Apuala, are you okay? Can you imagine what comes into your mind? It seems you've forgotten the tradition of this land. Okwaya? There is nothing wrong in, with what I said. You yeah. know, I was thinking you're Noma. But now I know you're mad. Since she doesn't realize the posi her position, someone that understands will take over. Also, you want to be the queen? Yes. Okay. Well, stay here. I'm sure Oge must have gotten there and will be waiting for us. I'm leaving. Stay here and become the queen. Mm -hmm. I'm sent here. I want to be the queen for Yala. I went and gave uh, herbs and root to my customer. You are supposed to be at the palace performing for the king. Why is this true mystery? Palace? No. I don't want to die yet. Die? How do you mean? And who wants to kill you at the palace? Adue, the betrothed of the king, threatened to kill me. If I as much as set foot on that palace ground anymore, do. She feels the king has feelings for me. I do the daughter of Achara. Hey! Okay, Chico. Bien, Chico. Eh? You are my only eyes. You know, you are the only one left for me. Eh? Chico. Run for your dear life. Oh? Of course, Nene. I know. I, I cannot afford to lose you. Chico. I know. Let me run along. My friends are waiting for me. Eh. Yeah. Mugajos, oh. That troubles the future queen of Omodo. That she stands here all alone this early morning brooding. Eberi, he won't understand. I have suffered in this community. Ha! Can you tell me what makes the lioness to quiver? Because I went to your house this morning and your mother does not know your whereabouts. So talk. 
Can you imagine? That empty thing they call Ogechi is having something to do with my lion. My king. Aduri, are you sure of what you are saying? What is the meaning of that question? Huh? How else should I be sure when she's now the delight of his heart? My presence doesn't matter to him anymore. But when she comes around, he, he, his mood brightens up. So, is that why she has been carrying herself around with the pomposity of a peacock? Well, I trust you. I know no one dares to mess with a tigress. <laughs> Barry, you know me. I am a tigress. We shall see. The morning sun is so refreshing and the breeze so inviting. I feel like going on a hunting game. But the yoke of royalty restrains me from all of that. This palace has been boring lately. That reminds me. Where is Ogechi the singer? She has not been here for some days now. I hope all is well. I, I, I don't know your majesty. But it might be because you've not sent for her. Sent for her? Yes, Your Majesty. I don't have to send for her. She's always come here every two days. That is what she has done ever since she took up this responsibility. Anyway, I'll see to that. What they want, how we can walk, how we... My friend, look who we have here. The old stooge of our time that has refused to get married, not knowing all her mates are married. Mama <laughs> Nuku! <laughs> I don't have time for scallywags like you. Please make way, let people fetch water. The people you call names are better than you are, old fool. And look who is talking. You think you're frolicking with the king will ascribe you nobility and honor, hmm? Let me tell you, your illicit enterprise at the palace has been exposed. And I am sure you know what awaits you. Gossip is the only companion of lazy old fools like you and your friend. What is haunting her is the evil shan a wicked mother has been committing. As for fears, I have my mom, which everybody knows, and will soon get married. I don't have time to bandy words with a village loafer like you. Make way, let me fetch water and leave. You all disgust me. And if we don't, what did you say? She just asked a question, and if we don't make way, what will you do? Give me key, me. Watch and see. May your reign be long, my king. Hmm. You look splendid today. Fabulous. Me? Yes. <laughs> Thank you, my king. I am flattered. <laughs> May the gods bless this day. Why would you say that? Because you noticed me today. You even know how I look. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, my lord. My day is blessed indeed. Don't I used to in the past? You know, anytime I'm in a good mood like today, I notice every single bit of your beauty. You are fabulous. That reminds me, have you seen Ogechi, my singer? That one. She must be somewhere gallivanting with her numerous male friends. Ogechi. Gallivant? <laughs> Since... We... Anyway, that's not my business. Mine is for her to come to the palace, sing her lovely songs and soothe my soul and earn her daily bread. Why will her matter interlude our sweet talk this moment? Why does she always pop up in times like this? I am sick and tired of her constant presence in this palace. What's the meaning of that? 
What is wrong with you? Why are you getting worked up? My king. Are you rushing to in this manner? Is everything all right? Idika, duty calls. You know I am the advisor to the royal lineage. The young king, whose father I served so well, I need to serve him too. So the king calls. Um, oh no, um, sorry for taking your time. You see, I had a disturbing experience with the king. And this has kept my heart palpitating. So I wish to seek your advice. What is it? Um, oh no. My trap caught an iguana, the monitor lizard as it is popularly called. And you know, this is a delicious meat. I felt it befits the king, my childhood friend, because I always take meat to him. Oh no, to my utmost shock, the king behaved as if I brought poison to him and embarrassed me publicly. And this, this has been hurting me because I can't make out anything from this incident. Oh, Idika, I'm sorry about that. Ah, the king had a terrible dream the previous night about crocodiles mm. that almost frightened life out of him. That is why, you see, the trauma of that experience may have made him behave the way he did. Oh. I should have known. This is my childhood friend. He couldn't have treated me that way without an obvious reason. Um, well, Onohu, I would go back to the palace and apologize for inducing fear in him. Uh, don't, don't worry, don't worry. You think it's not necessary? Uh, not that it is not necessary, but um, I will tell him when I get to the palace. Yeah? Don't worry about that. I'm going to see him. Uh, I'll see you later. Thank you very much, Onohu. Yes. <laughs> I extend my greetings to the king. Yes. Who knows the house of Ogechi, the palace singer? I do, your majesty. You do? Yes, your majesty. Oh, good. Now you run down to her place to find out if she's okay. If she's fine, tell her I said she should leave whatever she's doing and run down to the palace immediately. Okay, Your Majesty. I hope the Igwe is not angry with me yet. No, no. He just came out of his chambers, obviously not angry. Hmm. Then, where are you rushing off to? To fetch Ogechi, the palace singer. Hmm. That means the king has something troubling his heart. Run along, run along. Run along. I'll see him. Sorry, Your Majesty. I, I kept you waiting. I was mending the ban when the message came. Oh no, well, nothing has spoiled yet. You're still early. Do you know the reason I called you? No, Your Majesty. My betrothed. Your betrothed? What about her? She has become a notch too irritating. I think it's about time I put her in her place. I want to curb her excesses. Hmm. 
Your Majesty. Caution. You must exercise self-control. You see, self-control is a veritable ornament of royalty. Although she is your betrothed, she is also your subject. You must pamper her like a child. The child who has grown strong teeth to bite the mother's nipple must be ready for unguarded slaps. True, true, your highness. But you must also know that hot food is eaten with caution. Emotional matters are handled with dexterity. Your highness, I must let you know that is, it is not an act of royalty for the king to break his vow. Oh no. How did you know that's where I was driving at? <laughs> Your Majesty, gray hairs are a seat of wisdom. The path you now tread have been taken by so many in the past. And we learn from experience. Exercise caution. Yes, Your Majesty. Caution. Presence is needed at the palace right away. Right away? Yes. As you can see, I'm set for the market. His Majesty ordered that you come with me immediately. <sighs> okay. You can return to the palace. Let me wait for my mother to come back home. Then I'll come. See, no subject flag the order of the king. And you know what punishment awaits me if I fail on my duty? My mother is not around. I will not take it lightly if I don't do what she asks me to do. Whose demand should be your priority? The king's or your mother's? Follow me. Quick. This way. Take it easy, me. Tell me why you called me. Because my ears are itching to hear good news. And my blood is boiling. Yes! That is the spirit. I'm gonna warn you, man. That's what you are. The time has come. We don't have time to waste. Go and play your game well and rightly. So that you can possess that which rightfully belongs to you, my daughter. Go, my daughter! <laughs> I am going, mother. <laughs> Go yes, on, mother. Back. Hmm. Hey. Hmm. <laughs> Agui. Agui. Down. 
don't you know how to work with a woman? We have to hurry before the majesty gets angry with me. Is that it? Maybe I should return home since my welfare is not important here. Yeah. You can never try it. Never. Dare me! Dare me and see if I won't go back home. Oh, I'm, please, I'm sorry. I, I will slow down. After you. I thought you won't speak. Do you see what the problem is rather than stand here and suck like a baby? What's more embarrassing and childish than your illicit affair with Ben Reveller that you hide under the cloak of a singer? I beg your pardon? Deny it! Deny your immoral flirtation with that renegade of a girl! Ah! Guts! Make sure she doesn't step into this palace again until I say so. Hold it there. I will go. But my king, remember when you come begging. Anyway, I know what to do. I know what to do. I know what to do. What's the meaning of this, Adore? It means your end has come. Didn't I warn you? Please, please, I don't have time for your trouble. I don't have anything to do with your man. I'm only carrying out my civic responsibility. Civic responsibility, my fruit. Why am I even negotiating with you? I want to see. Please, please allow me. Let him. Thank you. Thank you. Young man. <laughs> why do you scream the name of your king in that manner? You the worst has happened. The worst has happened in Ubud. Okay, no more. What has happened? <laughs> why beast has the bottle Ogechi? Which Ogechi? Ogechi the singer. How? Where? 
<laughs> Our body is by, by a bushman's close to the house. Guards! Let's go. Move it. Get my gun ready and come with your message. Yes, your majesty. Hey! Gods of our land. What kind of wild beast could have done this to her? A lion? A leopard or a tiger? Igwe, none of the mentioned ones. This obviously looks like a crocodile attack. Crocodile? Yes. On land? There is no water anywhere around here. How could a crocodile have attacked her? I'm sorry, my king. This looks like a mysterious war. Because I've tried to trace the arms and the footprints everywhere, but it did not lead to anywhere. It will. It is very, very obvious that someone turned into this crocodile. Because when I came here, I saw more than one person's footprint. A human beast? Ilika, what are you talking about? I want her not to go. I want her not to come to the palace, but she wouldn't listen. Is that something you're not telling me here? What happened to her? <laughs> my king. My lion. The love of my life. I beg of you. I had no hand in what happened in any form. Adure. What are you talking about? Did anyone accuse you? I don't know. I had a quarrel with him over her earlier today. So it will seem as if I am connected to her death, but I know nothing concerning it. I have no hand in it. No one will think of such. It is a mere coincidence. Adure, stop crying and go to your man who has been hurting. Go to him. Should I go to him? Yes, he needs you now. Thank you, no. Thank you. Fire is burning. Now my body is burning with fire. I'm, 
When I look at you, my heart beats with joy. Hey, name Oma. Oma Lichan name. Easy birthday name. What would I have done in this life without you? Hey, look at how you arranged the whole thing, and it worked. Even though no was almost calling him, telling him to pay more attention to me. I, your mother, holds the key to spiritual doors of every heart in this life. Mm -hmm. Mother, I have never been this happy in my entire life. With Achara, the pillar that holds every house by your side. You cannot fail. This is just the beginning of good tidings for you, my beauty and my queen. Oh, my queen. Yes, mother. Uh -huh. Lest I forget. You don't know who even told him to hasten the process of our marriage really? so that I can move into the palace. Oh, may the gods be praised. He is a noble man. Mm -hmm. May the gods bless He is a... <laughs> my... anything. <laughs> my, my heart daughter. is beaming with so that. much excitement. <laughs> Your Majesty, don't you think it is dangerous for you to be out here? All alone without your guards? Considering what happened today. Oh no. What danger can be more fearsome than that that ravages the heart of a hero? My reasoning has been impaired by what happened today. I mean, I have seen how unsafe my people are because of my inability to protect them. How dare you say such unfriendly things about yourself? Didn't you hear Ogechi's mother? She was right. Her daughter died on her way home from the palace. Who was to protect her? Who? Your Majesty, what happened was beyond human control. Even as a king, no one expects you to solve spiritual problems. Oh no, is it actually spiritual? Yes. Now, now I can relate it to my dream. Are not the same. Sorry, you know how anxious one can be in this kind of situation. Please. Uh, whatever. You should know you are with a lady and show how caring you are. Don't drag me more than my strength. I said I am sorry. Okay, I will move at your pace. But you have to increase your speed. My blood is boiling. Please. You shouldn't boil now. Please wait until you meet the killer of your sister. I'm sorry about what happened, my friend Idika. I was actually no, trying... Your Majesty. I should be the one saying sorry. I never knew you had such a terrible dream. It was Ono that told me everything. Yes, now that you know. And you are master in the affairs of the jungle. What do you think we should do to save our people? Your Majesty. What killed that lady is not a natural crocodile. I will make a movement to get to the root of this matter. But I will need a man to accompany me for this movement. Oh, we have so many able-bodied men in this land. 
make your pick. Choose anyone. Point at anyone. Your Majesty, this is not a movement for all kinds of men. When I see the right man, I'll let you know. But meanwhile, we have to be on the watch. Because what killed the bean is in the bean. Seeing or are my eyes deceiving me? Ojuku, the son of Agowu, the Agu. only monkey that lives from tree to tree <laughs> without fearing the distance. Oh, more. Ojuku, he declared the son of Akongo. Yes. The leopard that dares the hunter in the jungle. Mm. So you are still in this community. Yeah. Where else could I have abandoned my motherland to? Where have you been, my king's man? <sighs> my brother. The evil one plotted my death and mm. I escaped to my maternal home. Mm. But the gruesome death of my younger sister has brought me back to face, to challenge that beast that has been tormenting this community. I heard, my brother. Blood, blood they say is thicker than water. Welcome. My brother. Thank you very much. You know, the gods have answered my prayers. I was just coming from the palace where we were discussing about this matter. I was to go to Iyakwa to get to the root of this matter. And the man is supposed to accompany me. Mm. Here comes the right man for the journey. <laughs> Ujuku, the monkey. My brother, I am very happy that there is still a man in this Umudo that first to understand that genuine love Genuine peace can only come through war. I was already on my way to the palace. You're on your way to the palace. Let's go back, bro. Ojuku, Ibika, the monkey. Ojuku, the monkey. My enemies are falling one after the other. And as many that will join league with them. <laughs> yes, so. I want them, but they all felt they were tigresses as well. That wild beast would have just devoured the remaining two. Which remaining two? Hakuna and Amaka, of course. Did I not tell you how they beat me the other day at the stream because of you? I heard it was a mysterious crocodile that killed her. Do you know anything about that? Eberi! What kind of silly question is that? What are you implying by asking me such a question? Sorry, I didn't mean any harm. It's just that rumors are beginning to rear up that you have something to do with her death. Here she goes again. Rumors, rumors, rumors. I hate rumor mongers. I detest them. And that is what you are. So if you know what is good for you, do not tell me anything about rumors anymore. Ah. Adure, come back now. You haven't gotten to that. Adure! What a world, a wicked world, a world. Your Majesty, like I said when I left the palace, that when I see the man that would accompany me for this journey, that I would let you know. As I was going and pondering, 
The gods brought a warrior my way, a man you know very much, a son of the soil. And to cap it off, he is the elder brother to the deceased. Welcome back to the land, Ojuku. I wouldn't ask why you came back, Ojuku, because the issue at hand is an enormous one. It's been long you left this land, so I didn't know you have become this big. But I want to tell you that whatever it will take to hunt down the murderers of Ogechi, I will bear the cost. Your Majesty, you don't have to make promises to me to find the killers of my only sister. Even if it will cost me my life, I will get to the root of it. It is my obligation. She was murdered on account of me. She was killed after she had left my palace. Therefore, I will do what it takes to get to the root of this. Your Majesty, we will set out to Iyakwa to seek the services of our Bali, the Great Divya. I believe he will have answers for our quest. Good. Whatever you do, just know that you have the backings of the palace and the gods of the land. It's okay, Your Majesty. You may go now. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you. You have succeeded in killing my daughter. You will not go scot free. By the cause of this land, I swear, you will not go scot free, Acha. Who is this renegade that buys you to my compound with a fear of God's sake? Look at the beast that feeds on the innocent blood, standing here talking of God's sake. Hey, woman, do you have conscience? The blood of the innocent. We hold you to your grave, you fool! Enough of that insult, you brainless woman! I don't know what I did to deserve these your worthless insults. I'll forgive you. I heard what happened to you. That alone is enough to make one mad. It is you and your entire generation of blood suckers that are mad. Let me tell you something. Ogechi is not dead. Because her spirit will torment you to your grave. And as for your desperate daughter, she will live all her life. Hey! That's an assurance. What thing is making me spare your life? You won't be lucky next time. What will you do? Out of my comfort. What could be worse than what you have done? By killing my daughter, Chara. One thing I assure you, that you will live to reap all that you have sold in the land of Umudo. That's an assurance. I seek, get out of my house. Get out of my company, you! What a world, how we can walk. Amaka, Biko, please. Mm. I am not in the right mood for trouble. And don't think today will be like the other day that your friends combined efforts. Today, I think I just took eh? Wogu. I am telling you. Anugum, you beat me. Look at this idiot. You beat me. Okay, try it. Try it! Try and see! <laughs> oh, you think you and your friend have succeeded by killing Ogechi, right? Your doom will soon come. You idiot. My friend, get out of my way. Amaka, did you push me? Yes, I just did. you touch me? I just did, and what will did you, you do? touch me? Eh? Hey! 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 Get out of my Who is she? 
will she do? Why? 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 Who touched the tigress tail? Can you believe it? That Ogechi's mother came here and rained abuses on me. What? Kedeboziano, where is her corpse? Do you expect me to do anything here? That would be an art of cowardice. How did she her time will soon come. How did she know? Is it the rumor that I heard that flies about in the village? Why are there so much rumors everywhere? Ignore the rumors, my daughter. The more people talk about you, your spiritual potency increases. Eh? Yes, my daughter. Am I not getting it? You're trying. Okay, why not try it again? Do it again. Stop it now. Ah, I want to know what you're doing. Continue, just don't mind them. Continue, continue. Okay. Ah, who my days? I shall go on my own. Please go over there and find out which of them has this wonderful voice. Tell her I want to see her immediately. Yes, Your Majesty. Hey. The king wants to see you. Me? Yes. Follow me. Follow me. Your Majesty. You have a wonderful voice. Thank you so much, my king. I was captivated by the melody of your songs, so I stopped. Um, this talent, is it inherited or you developed it? I don't understand, your majesty. I mean, does any of your parents sing? Oh, sorry that I didn't get it the first time. Well, none of them sings. I see. <laughs> If you don't mind, I would like for you to come over to the palace later today and sing for me. That would be an honor to me, Your Majesty, to sing and even dance for my king. Oh, you dance as well? Yes, Your Majesty. Actually, I'm the one that sings for the group. We just finished our dance rehearsal. This is lovely. In that case, I would like for you to mobilize your friends, I mean your dancers, so you can come over to the palace tomorrow evening to sing for me and dance and entertain me. Thank you very much, Your Majesty. I shall be expecting you. Okay, Your Majesty.
know, I take my greatest delight in this world, in music. And that's exactly what you have done for me. Thank you. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to put a smile on your face, Your Highness. <laughs> it's nothing. So what would you say if I asked you to come to the palace and sing for me regularly? <sighs> that would be an honor to me, Your Highness. <laughs> Then consider yourself employed. Your Highness. Yes. <laughs> Your Majesty. Why are you laughing in your sleep? Is it a daydream? No, no, I wasn't actually daydreaming. I was reflecting on my wonderful time with Ogechi the singer. Oh, yes, I know, that's how it will be. But you shouldn't let her death overbear you to this extent. No, you, you are a king and you must be on top of every situation. Yes or no, I will get a bite. You better do. Your Highness. His mother's pride. Where are you going to this morning? My sister must be avenged. Yes. We all know that. Are you going to fight? I have a journey to undertake. The one? Talk to your mother. What kind of journey? Yeah. We two Mughal, they must have ears and they will hear everything we say. And the tree is also on this very ground. They can bear witness of what we are saying. Just calm down. I'll be back. Take care of yourself. <laughs> Yes, your majesty. I wish to go into the forest to ease off some tension. And I wish to go alone. No questions or objections. If anyone asks, tell them that's my decision. Yes, your majesty. Take care of the palace. Yes, your majesty. You are the pride of the middle of this life. You will shine and glow. I just died. Men will whisper and they will shake and they will cry. The daughter of Great Azui cannot be the last. You will be on top. And you made this. All shall bow at the throne at that point. Come, my daughter. Pride of the mother. You have been purified and prepared for the task. When he sees you, his heart will melt in love for you. And his soul will constantly yearn for your love. Thank you, my sweet mother. Yes, my daughter. Queen of our coast. I have always known you mean well for me. Yes, my daughter. Go! For the king awaits your arrival. Go with pride. Go with dignity, the joy of the heart of the mother. Who? 
What a world, a wicked world, a world full of evil. What a world, a wicked world, a world full of evil. Men are evil. Your Majesty, where are you going to without your guards? Have you, have you heard of or seen such a thing? Since you were a child? I chose to go to the back side of the village and ease off some tension in solitude. Hmm. How could you conceive such an idea? Your Majesty, things are not done that way. One or two of your guards should be with you at all times. Oh no, I might be a child, but I'm old enough to take responsibility for my actions and decisions. I forbade them from coming with me, and that's final on this. Can I pass now? Your Highness, if that is your wish, who am I to restrain you? Thank you, my traditional Prime Minister and advisor. His Majesty. He went out. Why didn't you tell me when I passed? You didn't ask. And you did not respond to our greetings. Ha! What will your greetings add to my life? Huh? Now tell me, where did he go to? He went to the forest for solitude. What? Why then are all of you here? Why didn't any of you go with him? Huh? How will you know when he's in trouble or in need of your services? How? No one can refute the order of the king, not even you. So solitude. That made you shed tears. 
so that he will pay dearly for it. Do I ever understand the stupid thing those lay about gods will say? That my lord has gone into the forest. What for? <laughs> He has crossed the village stream. I can't reach him. But don't worry. When he comes back, I'll fortify you again. Oh? <laughs> Brighten up your face for your mother. My son, the future king of Umudo. My son, Mamo. Brighten up your face for your mother. Okay, let me do a special song for you. Kedoyenachogokukamchubaya, Isiyanya mili nega bia go. Mwame be na kwa. Kedi cholo negi genye gia. Mwame be na kwa. Kedonye na basugi wenga kusia. Mwame be na kwa. Kedonye na chogo kukanchuba ya. Mwame be na kwa. Isiyanya mili nega bia go. You cannot eat your food. It's for me. Here is Popo. Just take one, okay? It's for your mother. Be happy, okay? Okay, that's fine. Kediye newe ginga kusia, mwame bena ukwa. Kediye newe ginga kusia, mwame bena ukwa. Kedoye na chogo kukancho baya, mwame bena ukwa. Isianya mili nega biyako. You like this song, my son? Yes. Ojuhu, we have to find a place to rest, eat. We are getting close to Iyakwa. And we need to gather enough strength to ascend the hill before Iyakwa. 
On the contrary, I suggest we continue our journey. At least let's stress at once when we must have accomplished our mission. You see, Ojuku, my brother, hunters and warriors don't make straight movement. You sit, listen to nature, you hear what others don't. My brother, it's time not of a sense in this situation. You know, when you swim across the river so easily, it seems there is no level in swimming. Vigor doesn't equate wisdom, my brother. My brother, I'm happy I'm sharing your wealth of experience. Thank you very much. You will learn more, my friend. This way. Greetings, Your Royal Majesty, King of Umudo Kingdom. Young lady, where did you learn this song from? I was born a singer, Your Majesty. Singing is my greatest delight in life. Oh, are you from this land? Yes, Your Majesty. Our house is not far from here. Really? What is your name? Omalicha, Your Majesty. Omalicha. Let me not bug you with too many questions. Would you mind doing that song one more time for me? As many times as you want it, Your Majesty. As long as I breathe. Then go ahead. Mwame bezi na kwa Kedi hi chorom ne gige nye gia Mwame bezi na kwa Kwa miye ne we giwe kam kusia Ezi mwe bezi na kwa Kwa mwenye na chogo kuka mchobaya Vikwe bezi na kwa Hichanya miri gina na abiago See, Adure, keeping silence will not help you in this situation. You really end up hurting yourself. Tell me what the problem is. I could be of help. Iberi, can you imagine? That ever since that single girl died, the love of my life, my king is still raving with madness. How can you say that about your husband? What did you call him? Your husband, of course. Is he? Then if he is, why is he still obsessed with that girl? Why? He cannot be obsessed with the dead girl, Adore. That is what your mind tells you. So free yourself and go possess your man. <gasps> May the gods of our land bless you, Eberi. You know, sometimes you talk sense. I mean, sometimes. <laughs> My mother must hear this. 
I'm going to possess my man. <laughs> How could none of you have even tried to follow him from a distance? Huh? I'm sure you know your civil and traditional duties to the community, not just to the king alone. You sure know what will happen to you. You sure know what will happen to you if the king does not return safe. Nothing will happen to you. Nothing will happen to a man the gods have crowned. As you can see, I went on a sojourn and I am back with the splendor of the sun. Hail and hearty. You are welcome, Your Majesty. Thank Thanks you. to the gods, you are back safely. Why would you even think anything would happen to me in my kingdom? A young man full of energy and vigor. The gods led me on a sojourn and I am glad they handed me what I looked for. Now I am back with the splendor of the sun. Your majesty, I am still marveled at the kind of god you possess. What will induce you to take this kind of risk and hang our hearts in mid-air? The gods, yes. The gods propelled me into this journey and I'm glad they handed me what I sought. Let everyone go back to their duty post. I need to get some rest. Tomorrow, we shall continue. Didn't you hear that song? I heard it too. Who could person be with such a wonderful voice? And where could she be? Wait, could that be the spirit of Ogechi singing? Look here, I'm really scared. Let's just go back, okay? Look at this one. We fear a lot. Let's take our bath before we go. Uh-uh. You don't have to blame her if she's scared. The way Hogeshi was murdered by a mysterious beast is enough to induce fear in anyone. And a spirit may come seeking for vengeance. Look here, the both of you. Let's just go back because I'm really, really scared right now, okay? Let's go. It's true. It's true. Let me see your right palm. Come on, yeah. 
Welcome, Machara. I was expecting you. Who are you? And what is your mission? And how on earth do you know my name? 